Hey there! In my last video uh, I did here on YouTube, I made some music with um, this little box here, the simplifier. I was looking for a, a little device that I can use when I don't have an amp or I want to um, um, have an ampless setup. So to go with my paddleboard directly in, into a little device on stage or maybe in the studio or um, when I'm on tour and I want to um, have a device where I can uh, record some guitar tracks on the song or something. So that was the idea to check out this thing. And I, I was looking for a device that has no latency and um, is, is, an, is an analog preamp. So the simplifier was a, a thing I had to check out and I, I really liked it. So in, in my last video I made some music with uh, several guitars and uh, um, I tried to, to to give you some sounds, but um, it was all in in this uh, uh, construction of my song. And now I want to show you some sounds without any context, only um, sounds straight out of the device. And um, I hope I can give you um, an overview uh, over that, um, yeah, over the spectrum, over the the um, uh, sounds you can get out of this device. So let's dive in and see what we can uh, get out, out of the simplifier MK2. I'm already plugged in right straight into the input. Uh, I have a Telecaster here and um, it's a custom shop Telecaster from Fender and uh, all the knobs are on 12 o'clock as you can see. The, um, the caps are on a, on a combo setting. So this uh, is a 112 combo and we are um, with a speaker color we are uh, in the middle uh, and it, it's a blue Alnico blue speaker a mid-range rich and defined but not harsh sound that's what they say here in the in the manual so that's what we try at first everything at 12 o'clock and uh, the the amplifier uh, the preamp type uh, is uh, on on AC Prit, uh, as you can see, you have a power type and we have a preamp type. So um, all the settings are on AC Prit right now. So this is the sound we, we get now. So this is the, the neck pickup, you can have the middle position. Yeah, it's a nice clean tone, so um, it's already nice to play over that. It's a, um, a really natural feel and uh, it fits like an amp with a, with a cap and um, that's what I like about already about the clean sound. So when I um, tweak the knobs here, so let's see what uh, happens when we uh, uh, pull the, the cap sound a little bit back to the, to the black uh, based vintage eminence high power speakers. Well, that's the sound here. Now we go to the green back speakers uh, based on green backs, uh, good for crisp Marshall tones. Uh, or when more definition is needed. Going back to the black ones. You already can hear that the, the black ones have a little bit more high mids and uh, the green back sound a little bit smoother. 
back to the black ones. Now we go to the blue alnicos. So this is the, the color of the, the speakers here. Now we can change the, the speaker size or the, um, how much speakers we have. So now we have a 212 combo. Going back to the 112. Going to the 212. You already can hear that we have more bass and a little bit more resonance. Uh, uh, that's what I feel when I, I play over the 212. Going back to the 112. Going back to the 212. Yeah, it's a little bit more, a little bit more chesty. So now we go to the 412. Back to the 212. 112. It's a little bit more nasal sounding. So um, now uh, we can, um, yeah, let's see what uh, what the 412 sounds when we go to the, to the black uh, speaker color. The blue Alnico and the green bags. I like the green bags, they sound really um, yeah, they have a, a smooth uh, sound, I like somehow. So when I go a little bit to the blue Alnico, so maybe it's the sound um, that I like the most here. So this is uh, what you can get already with a, with a clean sound and the, the AC brick preamp and power type. There's so much to tweak here, so um, yeah, let's let's see what happens when I um, when I tweak the the preamp sounds. So I I'm going to stay here on the four four by twelve uh, and uh, see what what happens when we go to the to the USA power type. So I only change the power type. I'll go to the to the preamp type, um, also the USA. So that's not much. Yeah, it is a little bit. So uh, what I do here is uh, switch the power type and the preamp type and the, the first um, setting here on the AC Brit is emulates an AC30 top boost sound uh, as we know it and the second position is a, um, a classic Bassman uh, tone from a Fender Bassman. So that's the, the main uh, thing here, the basement sound. And then when I go to the, the third position, it's a, a classic clean to crunch vintage Plexi style amp. Has a little bit more bite. And the thing you can, you can do, you can, um, you can uh, choose a power, power amp like the AC Brit with a preamp type of the Marshall amp. You can do it, but um, there's not much that changes here. You can really hear when you when you change both of those um, switches here. So when we go to the Marshall type, you can hear this. When we go to the USA uh, <coughs> basement type, it sounds like this, and the AC Brit sounds like this. So maybe we hear um, a real difference when we change the gain a little bit. So I try to dial in more gain 
going up with the power drive and going up with the preamp gain. We have to turn down the master a little bit here. Oh, it's already too loud. Going down with the master. Trying the the um, the other pickup here. Oh, it's already too loud. Going down. Now we have a little bit more crunch in the sound, and <clears throat> let's try even more. We are uh, we're still in the on the uh, AC30 sound or a preamp type. Yeah, and uh, as I said, we have a, a really nice amp kind of uh, sound or amp kind of feel here. Um, let's try to uh, play over the bassman. This is the, the basement sound, and uh, here is the Marshall. It feels nice. Um, let's give it a little bit more gain and see what happens. With a tuned guitar, it sounds even better. Um, the USA kind of amp, the basement amp with more gain. It's a nice sound too. The AC Brit with more gain. I think for me the Marshall is uh, um, the most defined sounds to play over. Uh, the, the basement is a little bit, a little bit muddier. But it's nice. It's it's smoother, and you can um, you can tweak the the uh, pres uh, the, the presence here with this uh, one. You can ha you have a cut and the boost uh, for the presence. So when I I dial in some more presence here. Mm -hmm. 
I, um, I have a really nice sound. So um, for me, both of the amps sound really great. The Marshall and the, um, the basement sound. And um, what, uh, what's interesting is uh, when you um, tweak the, the resonance here, um, you, you get this, um, you get this bass kind of um, uh, boxy sound of the, of the speakers. So it's a little bit more uh, a bass uh, resonant. But now it's a little bit muddy, so I go back to the other side. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so maybe this is the right spot for the... When you, when you play this, the, the, the simplifier and um, it's more a feel thing, then you can uh, really feel that there's no latency. This is a direct response uh, into the device and... Um, <laughs> And I like the feel um, to play over that. So, um, yeah, you have to turn some knobs and uh, dip some switches, and uh, you you get a you get a really nice sound really fast. So I like I like it. When I, I go a little bit more in the direction of those Al Nico speakers with the basement. <laughs> And I get a little bit more high mids. Maybe it's a little bit too much for me. Going back here. Let's see what we can get when we dial the volume back a little bit from the guitar. I like the feel um, of that uh, amp kind of response. Uh, so when you uh, put in uh, the energy of the guitar, you can get more gain. Dial back the volume. It's almost clean. I really like that because um, you can do so much with the, um, the dynamic from the guitar. So let's go to the extremes now. Um, I, I didn't show you the equalizer, but um, so let's see what what it what it does um, when we have the the EQ, the treble here. We dial it back. Twelve o'clock. Fully open. Mm -hmm. 
So that's the treble. Let's pull it on the mids. Fully open. The bass. Twelve o'clock and fully open. Really nice. Um, now let's see what we can get when we um, yeah let's just see the the, the driven sounds uh, with a with a one twelve. We didn't have that. There's not that uh, definition of the 4x12, but uh, it, yeah, it feels like a small cap. Now um, the 212. Back to the 112. It's nice. 212 and back to the 412. It's really interesting. There, there are so much sounds you can get out of this little box. It's really, really nice. Okay, let's see what we can get when we uh, push that thing to the max. And uh, let's see what the Marshall amp does with full power. <laughs> Maybe we need a little bit more bass uh, here. Almost fuzzy. Um, let's see what the basement does with this uh, amount of gain. I like that little power tube here, so you can see uh, that, um, that there's going some uh, yeah, power into the, the tubes here. I really like the basement sound. It's a little bit more, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a mid-ranged round sound, so I like it a little bit more like the Marshall sound here. I don't know why. Maybe we can uh, need a little bit more presence here. And let's see how that sounds. You can see when I dial back the volume how uh, clean I get the sound here. Uh, the, the gain uh, structure is fully open here. The, the power drive and the preamp gain is fully open. And when I dial back the gain, I almost got a clean sound here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Now the, the, the presence is a little bit harsh. Let me go a little bit here. And uh, when I go back to the, the full um, volume of the guitar. It feels really good. And um, yeah, let's see what the AC Brit does uh, with, this, uh, with this amount of gain. <laughs> For me, the bass man is um, uh, the most defined amp. Yeah, and the Marshall amp. Yeah. Um, let's see what the, the speaker color does with this uh, amount of gain. So here you can really hear the, the color of the speaker. These are the uh, Eminence High Power speakers, the Alnico Blue. <laughs> and these are the Green Bags. It's uh, almost uh, a fuzz sound here, and um, so when I go a little bit more here into this area, maybe I have the right amount. And let's see what we're getting. Maybe this is the right spot here. Um, let's go back with the gain a little bit. Go back with the resonance. Fully open. Nice. Fully open presence. Yeah, aggressive. Let's dial back the presence.
nice. Um, let's try to get a real, um, a really aggressive fuzz sound. Now let's see what happens when I dial back the bass here. Middle, treble, fully up. <laughs> so let's see. It's almost uh, something like a, um, a octave fuzz. Um. Uh, it's crazy. Um. Yeah, you can you can dial that that knobs to the max and. Um, it's, it's interesting how much sound you can get out of this thing. Um, so, what, what's uh, also really nice is that you can uh, have a 1x12 speaker on the left side and a 4x12 speaker on the right side. So, why not? <laughs> It's a little bit phasey now, but um, why not? So we can uh, we can have uh, the two uh, the, the 112, um, and uh, uh, we put in a, a black eminent speaker here, and we can have it four by twelve, and I have Greenback speakers in here. <laughs> Or we can have a 212 and a 112 on this side and change the color like this. We can um, go back, so let's go back to the 4x12 in this setting, but we can have a, a Vox power amp type and a Marshall preamp type. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> We can change it, we can have a preamp type from the Vox and a power amp type from the Marshall. <laughs> Why not? Um, or oh, let's have a, a preamp from the baseman and a power amp from the Vox. Now both are on the on the basement. And uh, the preamp, let's put the preamp to the Vox. Preamp to the Marshall. OK, 
Okay, that's so much things you can uh, uh, change here. So um, I think you don't need much time to get a, a nice sound out of this. So um, it always is fun to play over there because the feel is nice. And uh, that's why um, I really like to play um, with that device. In my other video, you can uh, check out um, the, uh, the video I did before here when you click to the link. Um, I made some music uh, with, the, with this device and I uh, talked about all the, the things you can um, change here and uh, what, it, what it does. Uh, but uh, yeah, what I didn't tell you here in this video is you have a scent return, a stereo scent return. You can put some effects in and you have a nice reverb. I didn't show you here. So let's see what the reverb does. This is fully dry now. Uh, let's change to the basement. Back to the basement here. I almost can feel the amplifier or the, the, the cabinet standing in the room when I, uh, when I play the, those chords. It sounds really natural, I like that. Um, so when I dial in the reverb, this is, um, yeah, let's say nine o'clock. Nice plate reverb. So, 12 o'clock. And so let's see what the reverb does when we go to three o'clock. And we can get some really big ambient sound when we, um, yeah, dial it up to the max. So I hope you've got a little overview um, over the sounds here you can get out of the simplifier. Um, for me it's really fun to play over that because it's more um, the feel you can have. Uh, it's, um, yeah, you have to check it out by your own because um, the, the feeling while you play is really um, direct and uh, you have no latency, it's an uh, analog um, preamp feeling and uh, that's what I like about the thing here and um, you can you can easily uh, dial in some sounds, uh, uh, turning the knobs here and dip the switches. Uh, that's what I like 
about the thing here. It's easy and simple, so that's maybe why it's, it's called the simplifier. Um, so, thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and come back when you like the stuff here. And uh, thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.